here we are another do-it-yourself video I recently broke uh, the driver's side side mirror by packing it to the, to the pole and the plastic uh, base of the turning motor broke uh, broke and the mirror hasn't worked properly since then and the new mirror goes for like 900 euros in, in Finland so I wanted to see if it would be possible to fix this by by replacing just the motor because this is the only part which is which is broken and for luckily you can get this uh, from eBay around uh, 40 50 euros so I thought uh, what the heck let's try and fix this by just changing the motor the problem is of course that the, getting the whole side view mirror out of the car is a pretty laborious process and you need to uh, tear down the interior uh, fairings uh, or panels from the door and so on and um, well you can see the process from the Tesla uh, workshop manuals available in the internet of course but um, uh, since the mirror comes off uh, rather easily no, in normal circumstances by just twisting the base and uh, uh, releasing from this uh, this tab here I tried to see if I could do that the only destructive thing that I had to do was to cut the antenna cable and I think I had to splice in the SMA connectors to this afterwards but uh, and let's see if the 4G modems works anymore but other connectors come through the motor center quite uh, fine it's, it is just that the antenna base where it's attached to this uh, flexible circuit board is, uh, is uh, uh, too wide to fit through this and there's a connector inside the door which would come like other way around uh, through the through the hole so you can replace this but uh, 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 since I don't have proper workshop I'm doing this outside and it's uh, better to just uh, see if I can wing it but yeah it came off uh, afterwards quite easily so because the motor was broken I couldn't just twist the mirror and take take this off I had to they use the pliers from this uh, very last end of the end of the tube to twist it and uh, and get the motor off and now I'm gonna just replace it with the new one and uh, put those connectors which are still working back on uh, it's unfortunate that you have to cut the antenna cable I wish they had uh, designed the connector to be on this side of the uh, cable but what the hell I hope it still will work afterwards there you can see the old broken motor and the casing so it's attached with uh, just uh, scre three screws to the base of the mirror and here's the new one from aliexpress and uh, these are like um, handed left and right so you need to get the right right handed one obviously and uh, as for tools uh, the keys you need are torx 10s and uh, Torx 25 and these uh, screws that attach the, that attach the motor to the basis are Torx 10 so it's relatively easy to replace once you get the mirror off one more thing I should point out is that uh, from the mirror you need to take off the bottom uh, base plate in order to kind of twist it into the into the uh, tap there so otherwise the base plate will prevent you from tilting the mirror too far back and then um, to attach the connectors which I obviously had uh, removed earlier is that uh, you need to uh, tilt this uh, mirror by hand and then just uh, pull it from from here it should come off it's a bit, uh, Tight. And so I broke it and be careful not to do this actually the right place to uh, take it off from is uh, from the other end so lesson learned from there but uh, let's see how much this cost well you can't win them all <laughs> so this is the end result the cover is back on so the fit is not as good as uh, on factory model, I don't know why the cover actually seems to stand out a little bit, maybe it's uh, yeah, actually the plastic needs to go under there, I have to fix that. But functional device, 
it uh, works fine. Show you. So I will call this mission 90% successful, or well, maybe 80, considering the broken mirror class. So that's life. Cheers.